Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few highlights that I find personal of use from the inside the vault section. Uh, afterwards, we're going to jump to the atomic shop, see what we got today, take a look at the daily challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score, and look at the daily ops and see what we are going to be facing off today. And I wish you good luck in getting uh, the rare rewards. Uh, by the way, feel free to use the timestamps to navigate through the video with ease. So, let's not waste some time and jump right into it. By the way, all the links are going to be down in the video description, including the Inside Vault article. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got for the Inside the Vault. Personally, myself, I got three highlights uh, that I'd like to point out here real quick. And uh, if you want to read this through in more details, the link is down in the video description, plus uh, all, of, all of you have already shared it on Discord. Uh, so, the things that I'm looking at is the update on the 13th of October, which uh, will address a couple of uh, number of bugs. I really hope that uh, Magic Weapons is one of them, and I really hope that those Magic weapons are gonna be gone because the more balancing the better this game gets the harder the more interest well the harder the game gets the more interesting it gets we get to work around with our builds and etc so i really hope for some more balancing as i do believe that this game has a, a high potential of growing and skyrocketing so let's go uh, the other thing is what we got here is the atomic shop so for the atomic shop we will be having some new items coming in and uh, obviously I'll let you know because I do updates on the atomic shop on whenever it resets if I can well I do it daily so daily notifications plus Tuesdays and more details before you buy etc uh, that's kind of one of the main things uh, that I do on this channel uh, and Treasure Hunter, Treasure Hunter Return to Appalachia. So those who have missed out on this event, plus me, I didn't get the chance to play a lot, maybe like one day when it came out. And uh, so those who have missed out on the Insurgent outfit, on the Treasure Hunter outfit, and a whole bunch of other rewards, plus new rewards are coming for this event. Uh, that is all going to be taking place on the 15th of October. On top of everything else, uh, the way the event works is uh, changed. So basically, previously we would uh, hunt these cockroaches down, <laughs> well, miners, cockroaches, uh, down in Ashcape region. And, uh, well, obviously they're legendaries, but they were lower level thanks to patch 22, one wastelander. Now they're going to scale to level 50, so we have a higher chance of getting some real good legendaries. That's another point, by the way. But the the beautiful the beautiful update of this is now these guys will not stick only with Ash Heap. They're going to be scattered through the entire map. So you will be able to run into these guys pretty much anywhere. That's uh, how I understood it. Uh, the other thing is the material that is required to make those uh, Ornante mole minor pails if I'm not mispronouncing that uh, the price has been reduced so that's even better and basically all other information you can read it through yourself or uh, visit any other youtuber who deals with more news and more in-depth is uh, my news coverage I believe I need to work in those skills <laughs> alright so let's not waste some time and jump to the atomic shop Alright, so today for the Atomic Shot, we got the Blackbird Hunting Rifle paint with a 50% discount, which is actually a pretty good deal, and I'm going to grab it off the bat. I mean, lit at this baby, and uh, I'm starting to collect uh, weapon skins so I can display them later, kind of create a museum of different uh, options of skins, etc. So, personally, myself, I'm getting it. <laughs> actually, you know what? Let me show you how it looks. Alright, so in order to apply the skin, essentially you will need the weapon workbench, right? Once you've acquired it, then you need the hunting rifle. And uh, I should have one here, especially the one with the ghillie suit. Excuse me, I have a whole bunch of guns. Oh, there we go. And we navigate over here, and the blackbird paint, apply. Oof. That actually looks sweet. Definitely way better. Uh, than this thing. <laughs> uh, this is the reward from season one. But anyway, that looks nice. This was a reward from limited time event at Nuclear Winter stuff. But the Blackbird, I think Blackbird, yeah, from all these uh, 
four skins that I own, I believe that this is the best one. I was really actually waiting for these things to come with a discount, although I knew at the start that this is going to be really, really, really nice. But since I don't really use this gun, I was waiting for it to come with a discount, and my time has come. So uh, that's how it looks uh, through the... Uh, once you've built it, let me uh, try to show you how it looks uh, while you're equipping the item. So let me find it first. Where are you? Where are you, cockroach? Oh my god. Wait, I think it should have changed. Oh! There we go. Boom. Essentially, some black outfit would really, really look nice as an add-on to this weapon. I do apologize, but there ain't much... Ah, oh, wait. We can do that over here. There's a little bit more light. So, there we go. Actually, it actually looks good even with a samurai outfit. Because it's got the red colors and it's... Uh, dark and the samurai outfit also has those kind of elements so that is actually pretty cool don't you think all right so for the daily challenges uh, we need to do the following capture a workshop that's pretty straightforward uh, complete a daily operation we all do daily operations so that's also pretty straightforward complete an event straightforward uh, craft ammo workbench just craft 50 ammo and you're done you can actually just make uh, 150 cal for example ammo just once you click it once and that's gonna trigger because it's already you like did twice as, as you're requested uh, gold star will trigger automatically as soon as you complete five from the dailies uh, kill a scorched uh, ten times so uh, scorched enemies ten times uh, you can find those at Morgantown Airport. There's a whole bunch of those guys over there. So that's also pretty straightforward. Uh, level up uh, one time, straightforward. Use uh, Stimpak twice in Nuclear Winter, straightforward. So uh, if you just started out with this game, so uh, first of all, you will run into a couple of uh, Scorched, I believe. Oh man. I believe Wixton Homestead, yeah, that place right there, if you just got out of the vault. And uh, you'll need to navigate to this area, there's a whole bunch of Scorched over here, so you'll definitely get to kill some here. Uh, that mine also has Scorched, so you can walk inside and you will end up coming out from here. You'll have a, you'll kill a whole bunch of Scorched. So if you're just brand from, new from the vault or new to the game, those are the locations I would recommend you to go to. So now let's take a look on what we got for the daily ops. Alright, so for today's uh, daily ops uplink, we got the location uh, Valle Galleria, Blood Eagles, and Active Camouflage. Actually, this is a pretty easy one for me, especially with the shotgun build and uh, the vampire. I think I'm going to be grinding ammo today in stim packs. Yep, definitely I think that's what I'm going to do. Plus legendaries, of course. <laughs> but anyway, once again... Good luck in getting what you want to get from these rare, like, those rare items that you're missing out on. So, alright Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where we're going to be calling it the end for this video. And you all know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them. Have that in mind. So, if you want your comments to be read, please do provide your positive negative feedback without swearing and everyone will be able to see and react to your comments. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z Sol from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. If you'd like to join our community, uh, feel free to join our Discord. The link is down in the video description. I would highly recommend uh, reading our rules and uh, maybe take a look at the tutorial on how to use our Discord as we are 700 and almost 700 members and above, which is pretty awesome. I do apologize. Z Jr. is playing with his car, so you will hear some car crashing and stuff like that on the background but what can i do you know <laughs> so y'all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it at and i will see you on the next video bye bye from the ashes we rose into the future we'll go we are the clan we have a gamer soul by the might of the sword we put the pen to the test we
Yeah.